Police in Egypt are making full use of a new law banning public gatherings of more than 10 people without special authorization. Water cannons have been fired at crowds of anti government activists in Cairo, and dozens of arrests have been made. Let's hear from our correspondent now, Belle True. Belle, is this uh, an, uh, an end to protests in Egypt that we've come to know then, or not? Well, definitely speaking to protesters today who took to the streets in defiance of this very oppressive new law, they told me they felt like Egypt had turned back time to the Mubarak days when these kinds of rallies were swiftly moved from the streets by security forces who had effectively given the carte blanche to use violence to move people on. So it certainly feels like we've moved into a new era here in Egypt. People were fired on by tear gas and water cannons, heavily beaten within moments of coming to the streets to protest in defiance uh, of this particular new piece of legislation. Uh, they were rounded up. Among those dozens that were arrested included 16 women and very well-known activists, um, including uh, one human rights lawyer. Now, this sparked uproar across the country. Egypt's uh, Committee of 50, who's in the last few days of drafting Egypt's constitution, had to suspend its session after over 10 of its members walked out uh, in anger over these arrests. There's also been a lot of uh, comments made by Egypt's political factions saying this protest law cannot continue. Um, so really, it's yet to be seen what's going to happen, but certainly Egypt's feeling like it's moving into a new era where people can't demonstrate, um, where people don't have a voice. Uh, rights groups are saying freedoms are being really heavily cracked down on. So it remains to be seen, really, whether the military-backed government is going to be able to keep these... Um, very oppressive laws in place and keep restricting freedoms in this particularly tumultuous political time. Martiz Bell True reporting there from Cairo. Thank you.